Welcome back. Part two. I hope appreciate you guys watching it. And please help me out with them likes. I really appreciate it. And let's just continue this amazing story and this amazing game. Alright. Templar. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. Yeah. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. That's... Tell me who to talk to. I need to get into the city. There must be someone in charge <clears throat> I can speak with. Yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yule. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Oh, what now? Wesley based out no of the Lothar in Chantry. I don't remember ever seeing him there. He served elsewhere. He was coming to find me at Ostagar. Were you familiar ah. with every town? Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. Is that the Alistair? Ship's already gone. Sounds like we him. We paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. He must be letting some in. It's a big. This. It's a big city. Surely there's a bit of extra room for the pretty people. I find keeping my neck away from Knight Commander Meredith's blade far more attractive than any of you. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we have family here. Doesn't that mean anything? I've heard claims like that a thousand times already. Trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden eventually. Until then, you stay here. Wouldn't you rather... How much to get in? <laughs> I don't think we have any money. Surely there's someone higher up that we could persuade. The city's been closed by order of the Viscount and Knight Commander Meredith, whose fortress you're standing in. But as far as you're concerned, I'm in charge. Hmm. How much to there get There must be something we can work out. No foreigner can enter unless they can prove they have coin to bring into the city. How much you coin? Mean a bribe. Technically, yeah. the Viscount's order that no one enters. You want to be a special case, you have to be special. That's outrageous. It took all our coin just to get here. You want eyes looking the other way? That takes convincing. And the price goes up each day this continues. If you find our uncle, Gamlin Amel, you might just have a few less refugees bothering you. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! <laughs> oh shit, we're gonna Men? fight. Can't we talk about this? No?
Unbelievable. <sighs> Captain, are you all right? I am, no thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. Really? After all that? Saved your ass. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not... Don't look now. But I think that's our man. Where? Leandra! Damn girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Who's that? It, let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My poor Carver didn't make it. A drastic guide. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. Then I'll get us in. There are other ways to get into a city. That didn't turn out so well for those deserters earlier. I hate to agree, but there's a reason they housed us in an old prison. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then wow. there's no hope. N not quite. You're I know me. some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. So there's families. So there's no there's no family fortune. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. I don't like this idea. What do you mean exactly, Gamlin? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your sister have to work off the debt. And for a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. Hmm. Just be a dick about this shit. We cut down dozens of darkspawn and an ogre to get here. That has to count for something. Unless you brought an ogre's head along on the boat, I doubt it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What do you think about this, Bethany? We've come this far. I don't care who we work for. As long as it means we don't have to go back. Just tell me about this smuggler. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough. She's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. All right, then. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. 
Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. I guess. So join our crew. So we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> meet them at the gallows. Question is where? What's over here? Is this like a question mark? What's this? You saw. No? Alright. Miran. Ha! So you're Hawk, the nephew. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. Getting us into the city will take a lot of coin. <laughs> Did I mention the Red Iron gets paid pretty well? Not to mention your uncle said your sister's a mage. We're willing to pay for that. Hey, what? Apparently, Uncle Gamlin likes to talk. You stick with us. You'll be safe. For the year, at least. Hmm. Damn, so I'm ready doing. to prove myself. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Gave us bad info. Almost killed my men. Now he's hiding out here, waiting for a ship. He sees us coming, he'll run for sure. But he doesn't know you. Go kill him and his men. We'll make sure no one asked why. All right. Have you checked the courtyard again? He's still out there, but he's alone. And he's not making a move. I don't trust this. What will we do when the ship comes? Wait, who are you? I demand to know what you're doing here. I came to talk, bro. What? This isn't the tavern? I'm so disappointed. Mirren sent them. I'm not an idiot. I could have figured that out for myself. Look, you. I don't know what that pissant thug is paying you. But I'll double it. Just let us go. Forget or it. Or I could take the money off your corpse. Blasted idiot dog lords. Don't just stand there. Kill them. Get ready. money let's see how much money really that's it shitty ass all right let's go return let's go give him the news and then uh, we will continue to prove ourselves dead and buried well dead good may the bloody vultures feast on his corpse and shit him into the ocean <laughs> Welcome to the Red Iron. Tell your uncle I'm making the arrangements now. Cool. Any luck? Was yeah. there ever any doubt? I'll speak to Miran and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. Then we made it. The voyage is over. So as long as we're safe, <clears throat> let's not do that again for a year. We'll see what happens when this <clears throat> debt is Sorry, repaid. excuse me. If only Carver were here with us. And Wesley. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. The 
Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So he made his name, settling his debts with the mercenaries. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kronari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Beautiful. Stays titch, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can. No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. We've fought and killed we have Darkspawn. Experience. How many of your hired men can say the same? Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. The Templars are your problem. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, let's just relax. Don't worry, Bethany. I won't let any big bad Templars come get you. It's not a joke. If the Templars find me, the best I can hope is to be locked away for the rest of my life. If they don't kill me outright. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. <sighs> Maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. He got us in, he got into this mess. Gamlin is the reason we've been here for a year. He got us into Kirkwall. We've been safe so far. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Oh, he just stole. Hey! Every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant's guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <gasps> Off you go. <gasps> Apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would? I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. Hmm. So how do we reason with them? There must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us off. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. I don't have much coin. I hope there's more to this, like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. 
Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I. And before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. Mm. What do you say? If this is a trick, you'll pay for it, dwarf. Wonderful. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Kirkwell's yep. crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Keep a hand on your coin, Hawk. There okay. are more so, in my town than in the rest of So... Wait. So this is... Ooh. Red steel. Seven. Seven. <clears throat> Can we destroy or sell it? I mean... Go with a belt. Forty-nine. Ooh. Okay. The city combined. Can we level up? It's not auto. Auto. We'll get back to my character. Yeah, we'll get back. So worthy. What's this? Okay. Let's go to here. Let's go get this quest. I spent way too much time here. Ah, long time no see, my friend. What if it isn't worthy? The dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> <laughs> I only advertise the truth. You still with the red iron? It was just a year you were with them, right? Nosy, aren't you? Still trying to ferret out everyone's business, I see. <coughs> <laughs> of course. How else do you expect a dwarf to make a living? I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. I won't get dead. Cool. Craftsman. Always a pleasure, Hawk. You don't seem to like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. I had a twin brother. Couple. What's this? Rune, rune protection. Okay. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey, you want mine? I got a spare. <laughs> No, nah, we don't want your brother. He's an asshole. So, let's go to the Viscount way. Hey, what's up, girl? That's how you pause. There's no jumping. Avalene. 
Aveline. Hello, Hawk. That's it. What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. I can tell. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Let's just say I don't want to lose track of you. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. Still having trouble? I thought you were past all that. Lately, I don't know. I've been pushed out to some dead patrols. Mm. Maybe I stepped on someone's toes. Maybe. You can be forceful. My charm, right? I should be able to go where I'm needed. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. What's the job? All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing. My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. All right, Aveline. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. Of course. You're acting on behalf of the guard. Okay. She's with us. Let's. How much longer do I have to wait? Yeah, let's get. I'm assuming we need to get out of here. A new home. Kirkwall Bay. afraid of apostates my my if it isn't hawk still up to old tricks elegant lady elegant if you don't mind oh. i'm a married woman now you are last time we met you were still working for that brutish thug miran things have been going well since then no complaints could be better could be worse i often feel the same way you may recall i supplied the red iron with potions I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. Okay. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. Elf fruit potion. Okay. Thank you. More trouble than commerce in this place. So let's go ahead. You look like you know your way around a weapon. Buy something. What's this? Sergeant Joanna. You hear about the Amaranthine traitors? Who? Some harebrained nobles in Amaranthine were conspiring against the Warden Commander. A truly stellar idea, if you know anything about him. We caught most of the conspirators, but a few fled by sea and came here. We're offering a bounty. Sure, I need mean, any money. What I need to know. Here's a list of names and descriptions. Anytime you end one of the bastards, let me know and I'll reward you. Better act fast, though. We're looking for them, too. All right. 
There's all this stuff going on, but let's just do one job at a time. We're not like Naruto, Shadow Clone. Marin, you were in pain. You were a pain in my ass to deal with, but a bloody talented one. If you get sick of being just another employee, refugee, in the shithole, maybe we can just grab a drink. If there's any odd jobs my boys can't handle, I'll send them your way. Okay. You ran off with your Ferelden apostate. I'm still their daughter. My children have been in servitude. Servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. You mean this is real? No wonder I can't wake up. <laughs> and here I thought that Ferelden you ran off with was a mage, not a jester. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was red. It went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. Mm. Why well, so defensive? That touched a nerve. What's in there that you don't want us to see? Nothing. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. You didn't take your parents' will. It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gamlin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. Bastard. So, I hate thinking badly of family. Did Uncle Gammon seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? Yes. If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's, do you think he would tell us? No. Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about Father. She told me... She wishes she'd died with Carver. Damn. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. When this Deep Roads expedition comes through, we can buy her home back, move to Hightown. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Hmm. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. Good. Then we can break in, and I don't care if we kill them. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently, the sewers run right beneath the house. Perfect. And that's where we're gonna go. Okay, let's just go ahead and, uh... Low power. Let's do this. Use the ability within this tree you must first spend. Okay. 
Harry. No, let's go stick to. A... Let's just stick with this one. Who's coming with me? Of course, my sister. Dark Town? Or is it this way? You can't go there just yet. They're gonna say nothing. Those shits better pay up. Tom Wise? Huh? Oh, Hawk. I haven't seen you since Mirren hired me for that red iron job. It's been a while. Heard you're going on some expedition into the deep roads and right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? It's a living. We can't all make a living in the Undercity. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? The red iron's been scarce, and business has been a little slow. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. Okay. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? Of course. Thank you, sir. Deep mushroom. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh... <laughs> dark spawn is the real dark. Never knew humans could be this poor. What's this? Oh, okay. That's what it's for. I think this is the cellar door. We're gonna get our shit back. Okay. And here we go again. <laughs> Before anyone else, Rebattle is training for the next. Uh, what's this? Crate. Um, let's go this way. Nothing over here. Fancy poison room. Let's just take it. <clears throat> make it make money. I hope. What's this in here?
it can't go down there? No, it cannot. Ring. Craft do just take this. Close. Okay, there's a mage. Get ready. So we're definitely gonna fight everybody just to get the XP. Cause I know we're gonna need it. You know? I don't like the looks of this fast. Shit, fucking mage. All set. Uh, loot, let's take it, see if we can sell it. Now we go up here. That's the vault. Done. Everything we want to know about our family is inside. Let's just take everything. Here we go. Let's find out. This is it. Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. Let's go. We'll take it to her right now. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. You should be paying us, Uncle. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. Damn. Little uh, fucking bastard. Uh, I should maybe to my daughter Leandra and all children born of her. The estate in High Town and all associated revenues. Check out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend to be controlled by you. Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. 
I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Fucking uncle. So is a damn uncle. Fuck him up. That's what I'm about to do. So. Three bunk beds. Payment is now two months late. So that's interesting. Okay. okay. Can't pay fucking rent. Alright. Nothing over here. Oh. Or something in there. So. Confirm. Now let's go. How come we can't go over here? Oh, the ambush site. Oh, so let's go from high town to low town, right? That's what I'm assuming. Still didn't work. So someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Not that he didn't do his best to try and read it first. What? I thought there might be something dangerous in there. I'm looking for work. There's a rich merchant in High Town who got in trouble in this mining operation. If you haven't heard of the what, of the bone pit. The local says it's cursed. I don't put much stock in it, but had to turn down the job because the marchers are in my crew making the rest. The rest superstitious. High time market. Okay, I'll accept. I I take back everything I said about you. You were right. You were the best I've ever had. Come see me in low time. I keep busy. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what's up. Yes, I'm taking everybody. Hubert. You show admirable restraint, Bethany. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Ah. Serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. Alright. And then we will go... Welcome to the high town market. To Marine, right? Marine? <clears throat> Bastard. Let's go this way, actually. What's this over here? Oh, him. You there, Freldon. I wish to speak with you. Okay. You've gained quite a reputation with the Red Iron Mercenary Band. I find myself in need of someone with your special talents. I'm guessing you don't mean my ability to juggle small rodents to Orlesian ballads. <laughs> if that is your greatest skill, then I have been misinformed. I am looking for muscle, not whatever it was you were just describing. A man I sentenced 
to a life in prison has escaped custody. Ah. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. A request that should have been made of the guard. Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. The guards can take care of this. Unless there's something else you're not telling me. Or the guards are unwilling. Good. So I'm not the only one who thinks this smells like a setup. The men refuse to go in without reinforcements. The ruins have been overrun by strange creatures. Mm. All right. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? I guess. Mother must have played here as a girl. Oh, they were in high town now. Perfect. This bastard. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> All these quests. Let's just do one quest, and I think I'm gonna call it part three. Or part two, I said. I meant. Can't go there yet. Loose end. Where's the bone pit? Bone pit. Hmm. Let's see what's this. See if we can get rid of that. Never a shortage of idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark, but good reward in getting rid of them. We're under attack. What a Let's surprise. go. Let's go. Do something about that. Just kill them all. Well, if it ain't my favorite new citizen. Yeah. What yeah. are you doing here? A good question. Did you finally figure out being free and poor in Kirkwall ain't worth a rat's bit? You had an offer for me. You mean you're not too good for my kind of work? Because the blokes I hired after you couldn't find their ass with both hands. I sent them to take out Lord Harriman while he was preparing his cargo for shipping. Nighttime, docks, simple. Never came back. Hmm. Oh. 
I haven't heard a job in this yet. The job's the same. Kill Harriman, but there'll be a bonus if you find my men alive. I'm sure I can finish what they started. They were supposed to ambush him at the docks. That'd be the best place to start looking. Let's do and this. Remember, Harriman dead, my lad Gustav alive. Other way around, then you don't get paid. So, I need to go to the slums, right? Alright. So quiet, peaceful. Okay, let's go to the docks. This could be my last quest <clears throat> or my last mission. And then I'll end this part two. I'm sorry I couldn't get you more information about the circle, Bethany. It's difficult without naming you. Thank you for being discreet. I Thank you for being discreet. No one does. Let them corral the troublemakers. I just want information. Can't we talk right. about this? Right. No. Did we just kill Did he send you to get me? Harriman's guards killed all my men. I thought I gave them the slip, but they found me. You tell Mirren, I never turned on him. I'm not going back until you can walk, limp, or crawl behind me. I, I think I can walk. You got it before Harriman's men could do much damage. His rear guard saw us coming. They fell on us from all sides. Which any professional would have expected. That's him. That's Lord Harriman. Most of my enemies would not stoop this low. Are you working for Conrad Tooley? Perhaps Lady Reinhardt? What have you done that so many people want you dead? You sound Ferelden. Many in the city are. So you should know I'm the one who convinced the Viscount to send aid to Denerim. Many of my fellow noblemen resent that. They want me dead before he sends the money so they can reclaim it for Kirkwall. Hmm. Will you kill me for this? No. This is not a job I can complete. Thank you, Ferelden. When I learn who sent you, I will be sure to leave you out of any retribution. I don't want to be the one to tell Mirren you did that. 
I'll tell him myself. Shit. He fucked me over anyway, so why the fuck would I try to help him again? These dogs are run tighter than the ship we I think I got one more enemy, right? One more? One more? Why not? Let's go tell him. Let's go tell him. These streets should be safe at night. Care to help out with that? No. At least it's not boring. <laughs> Injury. Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah, I should be back with that. Alright, let's go. So, Gustav limped back here, but refuses to speak one word of what happened. Spit it out. Is Harriman dead or not? Not. He's being hunted for aiding my people. I will not kill him. I think you forgot the rules, Dog Lord. Once you take the job, you do the job. You don't decide if it's right. I'll take care of this myself. Don't try hitting me up for coin again. That door is closed. That's fine. I don't need your motherfucking ass anyway, so fuck it. Too bad we can't like that. Uh, like teleport, you know? But I'm definitely gonna go back. Um, uh, Let's go this way. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna end it as soon as I hit back to to, to town, high town. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys like it. Please like, help me out. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next episode or part three. Take care.